So in my previous lecture we have learned about the bouncing ball animation. In this lecture we will learn about the different different types of layers, masking and parenting concept in After Effects. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. So here we are in After Effects. As always, I'm gonna create a new composition and I'll name it as Main Animation and width I'll choose 1920, height is 180, frame rate is 30 seconds and duration I'll choose 50 seconds and background color for this lecture we are gonna choose this black color and hit OK and hit OK. Now as always we will choose this choose grid and guide option and we will hit title safe actions. Now wherever we are going to create any layer there are two methods either you can use shortcut keys or you can simply right click over here you can go to the new and you are free to choose whatever layer you want. Now we will see both of them so I'll right click over here I'll go to the new and first thing is text so I'll click on it as you can see our text layer is ready you can type this text from here or there is another method with the help of our text tool. We can select this text tool and shortcut keys control T. We will learn about the shortcut keys in my further videos. So you can select this text option and you can type whatever text you want. I am gonna type motion over here. With the Now you can select this text control halt home which is a shortcut key to align that anchor point to the center which we have learned in my previous videos. And you can go to the align tab you can align it horizontally and you can align it vertically now over here you will get the character menu which is almost like every graphic designing software over here you can make some adjustment with your fonts like you can choose light version of this font and over here you can change the color of i mean the font type and over here you can change the color also but right now i'm gonna choose white color only and over here you can increase and decrease the font size you can increase and decrease the spacing between them and so so much we will see in depth in our further animation videos but right now this is the text layer so this is the first layer I'll right click over here I'll go to the new and then I'll go to my next layer option which is a solid solid is basically shape layer but we, it will we will get this kind of options for their size and colors so right now I'm gonna choose 1920 by 180 and color I'm gonna choose black color and hit ok so as you can see we have one solid layer over here I'll bring it down so this is my solid layer the next is our shape layers if I click right click over here as you can see we will get this shape layer over here. over here either you can choose this from here but I would suggest you instead of this I am gonna choose my shape layer from here I am gonna choose my ellipse tool over here I will delete this uh, radial gradient instead of that I will choose solid color and I will hit ok now instead of total black color i'll choose some gray color hit ok and with the help of shift we will create one ellipse now if i press ctrl alt home to align that anchor point to the center i'll press v for my selection tool and i'll drag this layer over here now what we can do inside this shape layer as you can see in contents we have this ellipse so if i hit ctrl d so this is my second ellipse and if I double click on it then I can move this ellipse over here just like that and go over here over here you will find fill option and in this fill you can manipulate the color of this fill so now we have one shape layer and inside the shape layer there are two ellipses, and their position are different so I'll bring down this layer which is my shape layer that's it and now I'll right click I'll go to the new and then I'm gonna choose this null object so null object is basically a simply null object you can see this thing in the viewport but in our final output it will not show them so what is the use of null object 
this is basically for parenting like suppose i am gonna select this this two layers and i want to move them somewhere else so instead of uh, moving something like this what we can do over here you can see this one option like parent and linking if i hit f4 we can switch these options like blending mode and tracking mode so over here is parent and linking you can simply parent this with this null object and now you can select this null object and you can move this thing wherever you want even you can press r and you can rotate it just like that so this is my null object now i'll right click i'll create new and after the null object we are going to focus on adjustment layer i'll click on it so this is basically a extra layer which is useful to add some effect and presets so now i'm going going with effect and presets and over here i'll type one effect which is called tint so if i double cl click on this effect as you can see in effect and controls we will get this kind of effect which is applied on our adjustment layer now if i swap these colors as you can see my colors are swapped so basically what this layers do whenever we are going to apply any effect on it it will automatically apply those layers which are behind this adjustment layers like this now, for example if i select this motion and i'll drag about the adjustment layer as you can see now the color of this text is white because it's at the first position and then adjustment layer now if i drag it down as you can see because this is at the second position and adjustment at the top so it will apply this tint effect on all the color layers which are beyond this what we call adjustment layers so this that's why they use adjustment layer to apply one effect to all the layers which are up after that so this is the use of adjustment layers so with the help of this tint effect you can manipulate these colors the way you want so i'm gonna delete it this is just for explanation just like that and then i'll press f4 now after pressing f4 you can see these modes are changing we will get this mode and track mat which we will see in my further videos and if i press f4 we can see this kind of things now just to explain my remaining two layers i am gonna do this thing i'll select this text layer and the shape layer and i'll convert these layers into 3d so whenever we are converting these layers into 3d now these are three dimensional things for example suppose these layers are not in 3d and i'll press r as you can see we have only two options one option for rotation now suppose if i'm gonna convert this into 3d and now i'll press r as you can see we are getting three rotation which is for three dimensions of them like that and like that so now what i'm gonna do i'm gonna right click new and i'm gonna create this camera so don't need to worry about those settings over here we can see in depth in my further videos so i'll hit ok on it so as you can see our camera layer is created now over here you can find this camera tool the shortcut key for them is c and you can simply move this thing like that which is the adjustment of our camera now over here you can see other options also which is orbit camera tool which is simply for rotation with ctrl z then this is track xy camera with the help of that you can simply move this camera on two dimensional space and after that you will get this track z camera axis this is basically animate the camera on z axis which is basically for zoom in zoom out you can say so this is our camera layer and you will get this kind of controllers of camera over here like this unified camera and shortcut key for these options are c so as you can see our camera uh, our mouse pointer is also gonna change like that now with the help of null object what you can do i'll select this null object i'll hit enter and i'll type camera controller you can name this null object and i'm gonna convert this null object also into 3d and then i'm gonna 
select this camera and i'm gonna make it parent with this camera controller and if i select this camera controller which is our basically a null object i'll press r on keyboard and now i can adjust my camera with the help of this cam controller because this camera is parent with this cam controller so whenever i'm going to move this null object my camera is also going to move so that that is the use of null object so i'm going to delete this because my null object one null object is already here now there is another thing you can do which is our light so there are four types of lights parallel spot point etc etc each one of them has their different purposes now we will focus on spotlight as you can see if you have ever used the 3d softwares you can understand what are the concept of lights and now we call our thing is in a three-dimensional space so there is an option that you can do you over here you will get this option which is view i'm gonna click on it and if i choose two horizontal views as you can see over here we are getting this top view and with the help of this you can change the view of them and now uh, suppose if i want this like a 3d software so over here you will get this four views as you can see this is like a proper 3d software over here we will get active camera over here we will get right front and top view so with the help of that you can adjust this settings of lights like that now i'm gonna switch to one view and if i double click on it as you can see we are getting the light options and you can change the color of this light just like that so this is the use of lights i'm gonna delete it then i'll right click new and again i'll create light and now i'm gonna choose point light as you can see this is a point light you can also move this thing just like that double click on it again i'll choose white color i hit ok hit ok so this is the so these are the total seven types of layers one is solid layer another one is shape layer then third which is our text layer after this we have one null object then we have one adjustment layer over here you can simply apply tint effect and you can simply swap these colors just like that then you have this camera layer and then you have this light now this is the types of layers after effects are providing now we will make move to our next chapter which is called masking and one is parenting so for that what i'm gonna do i'm gonna create a new composition and i'll call this composition as masking and i'll hit ok now to understand this concept what i'm gonna do i'm gonna do select this ellipse i'm gonna select this red color and i'll hit ok with the help of shift i'm gonna create this ellipse i'll press ctrl alt home to align the anchor point to the center then i'll select this and v for selection tool and i'll move this over here now i'll press ctrl y to create a solid background which is a shortcut key to see create solid background and i'll choose white color i'll hit ok and i'll hit ok and i'll drag this layer over here and you can lock this layer so you are not gonna touch this thing again so i'll hit ctrl d again and i'll move this thing over here to understand the concept of masking and i'm gonna change this color into blue and i'll select this i'll hit enter and i'll call this layer as blue sorry then i'll select this second layer i'll hit enter and i'll call this name as red and i want to change the color of this things also so for that what i'm gonna do i'll click on this layer panel i'll choose this sorry this is blue so we need to choose blue and this one is red so i'm gonna choose this one as red and i'll hide un un unlock this and i'll change the color of this one let's say orange and i'll lock this now we need to focus on these two so as you can see we are getting this kind of options we, we need to switch them so i'll press f4 on my keyboard 
and after that you will get this kind of options first option is the blending mode which is obviously you will get this kind of blending modes like photoshop you can choose soft layers etc etc as you can see the color bendings are over here but we are not gonna focus on that chapter we are gonna focus on masking like in photoshop the term is masking in after effect the term is track matte now as you can see this red red layer is behind this blue and if i drag this over here this is up this is down and this option is only for the down the layer which is beyond this main layer so for that i'm gonna choose this red layer and over here we can see track mat and over here is none so i'll click on it and we will get these options one which is alpha mat if i click on it as you can see it will cover the portion of this blue if i am gonna this select select this blue and i can move this wherever i want just like that then second one is alpha mat as you can see this is like that then after we will get this luma matte option so as you can see the changes of it this is my blue and then we have luma inverted map so these are the four types of mats which is provided by after effects which is not a very difficult concept to understand but whenever we need to understand one thing whenever i am gonna choose this alpha mat this layer is gonna hide just like that and you can see the change of icons so these are the concept of uh, what we call alpha track mat and alpha mat and alpha inverted mat luma mat blue and luma inverted map we can learn about this thing in depth in my further videos but right now we will focus on this alpha mat and alpha inverted mat which is a simple layer masking concept so that's it for today's video in my next video we will talk about the shortcut keys thank you for watching